Welcome to 1st of September in History with Ola Denin Salahuddin, standard presenter. 1st of September 1969, a coup in Libya brings Muammar Gaddafi to power. The 1969 Libyan coup, also known as the Al Fateh Revolution or the 1st September Revolution, was carried out by the Free Officers Movement, a group of military officers which led to overthrow of Senussi monarchy of King Idris I and the creation of the Libyan Arab Republic. The discovery of significant oil reserves in 1959 and the subsequent income from petroleum sales enabled the Kingdom of Libya to transition from one of the world's poorest nations to a wealthy state. Although oil drastically improved the Libyan government finances, resettlement began to build over the increase due to concentration of the nation's wealth in the hands of King Idris. The kingdom also made little effort in attempting to unite the country and poorly manage Libya's internal affairs. In 1969, the US Central Intelligence Agency was expecting part of the Libyan armed forces to launch a coup from the Abdulaziz Sahib's Black Boat Revolutionary Group, Sahib, who effectively served as Idris' chief of staff, but in mid-1969, Idris traveled abroad to Turkey and Greece during widespread rumors of a coup by the Sahib brothers on the 5th of September. Then we have the Gaddafi's free officers who recognized 1st of September as their chance to overthrow the monarchy before the Sayus brother initiating Operation Jerusalem. On 1st September 1969, a group of about 70 young army officers, known as the Free Unionist Officers Movement, and enlisted men mostly assigned to the Signal Corps, gained control of government and abolished the Libyan monarchy. The coup was launched at Benghazi, and within two hours it was completed. Having taken power, Gaddafi converted Libya into a republic governed by his revolutionary command council and ruled by decree. He thus strengthened ties with Arab nationalist government, particularly Gamel Abdul Nasiru's Egypt. He introduced Sharia as the basis for legal system and promoted Islamic socialism. He nationalized the oil industry and used the increasing state revenue to bolster the military fund, foreign revolutionaries, and implement social programs emphasizing house building, healthcare, and education projects. In 1973, he initiated a popular revolution with the formation of Basic People's Congress, presented as a system of direct democracy but retain personal control over major decisions. Mohamed Gaddafi ruled Libya from 1969 until his assassination in 2011 by rebel forces. The killing of Mohamed Gaddafi took place on 20th of October 2011 after the Battle of Sirte. Gaddafi, the disposed leader of Libya, was found west of Sirte after his convoys were attacked by NATO aircraft. As part of the 2011 NATO military intervention in Libya, he was then captured by National Transition Council (NTC) forces and was killed shortly afterwards. Thanks for listening to 1st of September in History with Oladini Salahuddin, the standard presenter. God bless you.